everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the Peaceful Day Crochet Scarf. This is a super cozy, warm, and fun to stitch up scarf. We're going to be making this in some chunky lace. Now, usually when you think of lace, you think of something delicate. So this is a fun interpretation of um, some lace, a lace stitch. And um, we have some fluffy tassels at the bottom that are super fun to make. Now the finished sizing for this is 72 inches long, 12 inches wide, and then we have three tassels at either end. Each one of these tassels is about four inches tall, so it's a adds some sizing onto that, so it's a total of 80 inches long if you want to add the tassels. The tassels are totally optional. We're going to learn how to do this scarf every stitch of the way um, and how to make the tassels and do the finished work, etc. at the end. So we're going to start from the beginning, talk about the supplies, go through the stitch tutorial, make some tassels, and then do some finish work. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle to weave in our ends and sew the tassels on. Um, a tape measure would be super helpful, especially if you want to change the dimensions of your scarf. We're going to learn how to do that later in the video. Um, we need to give you the multiples so you can scale it, the width of your scarf, and then working more or less rows will change the length of your scarf. So if you're after a certain size or you're making this for someone, a tape measure will be super helpful. For our hook, we're going to use a 10 millimeter P crochet hook. This is my furl streamline, um, and the 10 millimeter is going to be the best for our yarn weight. And we're going to be using some super bulky six yarn. You're going to need 312 yards of that. Now I used one for this original scarf here. It's sort of like in the yarn I have here. It's kind of like roving, but it is that super bulky weight. Now the, sh the scarf I showed you at the beginning of the video right here, um, I used a yarn called Chill by Sugarbush is what it's called. And um, this is like um, a merino yarn and the color was called Gray River. So I used like six balls of that, 312 yards of that. Now, the yarn we're going to use for our tutorial, we're just, like I said, going to make like a little sampler of it. Um, you may recognize this from a couple videos back. This was the Cozy Winter Mega Scarf. This is um, Udon by Hobie. This would also be a great choice for this project as well. Um, and any really any super bulky yarn, 312 yards of that. But I'm going to use the Udon for our uh, tutorial today. So let's get started. Okay, we got our yarn and our hook and we're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is put a slip knot on our hook. Leave a little tail, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. Then we're going to do our starting chain. So our multiple is 12 plus 7. If you're not familiar with multiples, all that means is when you're doing your starting chain, you're going to go 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 and so forth until your starting chain is as long as you would like it to be and then add 7 onto that. Now our starting chain is going to be a little bit longer than the width of our scarf and I'm going to explain that in just a minute. But um, multiple of 12 plus 7. We're going to do a starting chain of 31, okay? So to make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, and 31. So here is our starting chain, and it's going to be a little bit longer because for row one, we're going to work in the 11th chain from the hook, okay? So it's going to be the width of your scarf will be um, this minus 11 chains, okay? And I'm going to show you in just a minute. So let's move on to row one. So what, like I said, we're going to work a single crochet in the 11th chain from the hook. This loop here does not count. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So right there, that chain, we're going to work a single crochet. Insert the hook into that chain, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops, and that's it. It's just going to make kind of a big loop, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to skip three chains. So one, two, three, and in the chain after that, work a single crochet. Okay, chain five. One, two, 
three, four, five. Come back down here, skip three chains, one, two, three, and in the chain after that, work a single crochet. Once again, we're just gonna be repeating the sequence across. Once again, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Come back down, skip three chains, one, two, three, and in the chain after that, work a single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Come back down here and skip three chains. One, two, three, and in the chain after that, work a single crochet. All right, we're almost at the end. Look, we have our series of loops here. Okay, now we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So if you come back down here, you should have just four chains left. So skip the next three chains, and in that very last chain, work a single crochet. Okay, so row one is complete. It's super easy, it's just kind of setting us up. So you're gonna have a series of loops, and you should have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six loops here, okay? So next, we're gonna move on to row two. For row two, what we'll do this time is chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna turn our work, okay? We're gonna skip that first single crochet we made. Remember that at the end of the row? And then we're going to work a single crochet in this chain five space. It's written in the written pattern over at the blog as the chain five space. When we made those five chains, it made a big space, one of those loops I was talking about. So we're just gonna work a single crochet in the chain five space. So go right in there with your hook, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through both loops, okay? Then we're gonna skip that next single crochet that's kind of in between the loops. Then we're gonna go into the next chain five space and we're gonna work seven double crochets. So to make a double crochet, wrap the yarn around hook, insert it into that chain five space, Wrap yarn around hook and bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring through the last two loops, okay? So that was one, we need seven though. So the, that was one, two, three, four. Now if you notice, I'm kind of sliding things over as needed five, six, and seven, okay? So we've just made one of those beautiful fans that we saw in the original scarf at the beginning of the video, okay? So next, we're gonna skip that next single crochet from the previous row, and we're gonna work a single crochet into that chain five space, the next one we come to. And then we're gonna skip that next single crochet and we're gonna to go to the next chain five space and once again, work seven double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, sliding things over, and seven, okay? Whoops, let's redo that. That, I, my hook went through the yarn there. Okay, so now we have two pretty arches for our scarf. You can kind of straighten things out as you go. I, I like to straighten things out. Okay, and now one arch is complete. So next, what we'll do is we're going to skip that next single crochet from the previous row, then we're gonna single crochet into the next chain five space, just like that, and then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna skip over that, single, that next single crochet that we see from the previous row, and we're gonna go into the next chain five space and work a single crochet once again, just like that. So now we're gonna have this like little arch in the middle here, this like open arch. And then what we'll do is we're gonna skip that next single crochet that you see here in between those loops. 
And we're going to go to the next chain five space and we're, we're going to work our seven double crochets once again. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, all in that same chain five space to make our next little arch here, okay? Again, scooting things over if you need to make yourself some more room. Now, you should have one more loop left here. Now, you should have one more loop left here after you're done making that second arch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna work a single crochet into that chain five space. Remember that chain five space? It's actually not technically a chain five space here. It's, remember that uh, we did like a, single crochet in that 11th chamber, but it looks like one of our loops, okay? So in that last big loop, work a single crochet, then we're gonna chain two, and then in the written pattern, it says to work a double crochet in the sixth chain from the last single crochet of the previous row. Um, the easy way to remember that is if you pull your little loop out here, it's that, chain that's just off to the side the most, okay? So the one that's just off to the side the most, work a double crochet just right into that, that side most chain, if you will. You can count up, you can count six chains up if you want to each time, it's up to you. But it works out to be, whoops, and I dropped my stitch. It works out to be that, that side most chain. So you can kind of like come around and feel for it, okay? So just work a double crochet into that chain, okay? All right, so, and you can kind of straighten it all out and we can zoom out just a little bit so you can see what our progress is so far. And we have two beautiful arches with this like lovely trellis in the middle, okay? So next we're gonna move on to row three. Now rows two and three are just the two rows you'll repeat for the rest of your scarf. And as you can see, we did one row here and we already got about three inches in height. So it does work up very, very quickly. Okay, so for row three, and this is the last row that we're gonna learn how to do together. What we're gonna do is chain six this time. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're gonna turn our work. And then we're gonna skip that double crochet, that chain two, that single crochet, and the first double crochet of this arch here. So. It helps to kind of like separate it because this here and this here on the sides of your arch kind of look like a double crochet. But remember we did seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can kind of separate it and look at it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work a single crochet in that second double crochet of that arch. So once again, you can kind of separate it and look at your arch, skip that first double crochet that you see and work a single crochet in that second one, okay? We're gonna kind of build an arch on top of an arch, okay? Then what we'll do is we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're essentially uh, making loops again on top of these arches. So when we go back and work row two again, we'll work the arches into that, okay? Then we're gonna skip over all the way to the sixth chain of this arch, okay? So. Uh, if we count across, this is our sixth chain because this is number seven. So this will be number six. And we're going to work a single crochet in that sixth double crochet of that arch. Okay? So go ahead and do that and see how it puts like a loop at the top. Then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to skip over. And then we're gonna skip across to that chain five space. Remember that little arch we had in the very middle? The chain five space. We're gonna work a single crochet into that chain five space. Let me zoom in so you can see that chain five space a little bit better. So right in there, work a single crochet. Then we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Whoops, five, just like that. And we're gonna do the same thing we did in this arch back here. So in that we can kind of separate it a little bit. I like to get my fingers in there and just sort of look in there. 
that second double crochet that you see, work a single crochet into that second double crochet of the arch. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna go across our arch and find number six. So that's seven there on the end. So number six and work a single crochet into that sixth double crochet, okay? So we're see how we're putting loops on top of everything? Super easy. Okay, now what we wanna do is chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, Okay, and then we have a loop here at the end, and we're gonna count, the easiest way to do this one is to count three chains up. One, two, three, and work a single crochet in that third chain up, okay? And row three is complete. So you can see we start, we're starting to have the beginnings of our beautiful scarf, okay? So, you can just keep going and repeat rows two and three, two and three, over and over and over again until your scarf is as long as you would like it to be. I'm gonna take you through row two once again because last time um, it, our scarf looked a little different. It's still the same number of loops, six loops, but we're kind of working into, um, it looks just looks a little bit different, okay? So if you wanna watch this part, you can watch this part, you can skip ahead to the end but um, we're gonna keep going and I'm gonna show you just row two one more time, okay? So what we wanna do is chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna turn our work, okay? Once again, we're gonna skip that first single crochet and we're gonna work a single crochet in that first chain five space, that loop. Same loops as before, they just look a tiny bit different, okay? So we're gonna work a single crochet in that chain five space. We're gonna skip that next single crochet and then work seven double crochets in the next chain five space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, okay? Then we're going to work a single crochet into the next chain five space. Then we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And I'm gonna scoot this yarn out of the way, it's like creeping over. And then we're going to go into the next chain five space and work a single crochet, okay? That creates that kind of center arch. We're kind of stacking this stuff on top of one another, okay? Hop over to the next chain five space and see so you have an arch. It kind of gives you a little clue as to what's coming next and work a uh, seven double crochet, excuse me. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, okay? Now we have another arch. Then what we'll do is we'll work a single crochet in that chain five space, or that loop at the end, rather. Chain two, okay, and then once again, you'll just, that, that chain that's farthest out to the side here, you'll just work a double crochet in that to finish the row. It looks a tiny bit different than last time, but if you just stick with the chain farthest on the edge here, you'll be just fine. Okay, so just work a double crochet to finish the row, okay? So we just did row two again just to show you, but you're just gonna be repeating rows two and three, two and three, over and over and over again until you get to the end of your yarn or you um, your scarf is as long as you would like it to, to be. So next, let's grab some more yarn and we're gonna work on a quick little tassel, okay? I did, um, well mine, I did uh, two on either side and then one in the center, okay? We're gonna make one together. Okay, we're gonna make ours in this same teal color that we did for our scarf. So I'm just gonna cut the yarn. When you're done your scarf, let's pretend we've made our scarf, it's nice and long, and you wanna cut your yarn, wrap the yarn around the hook, and pull it through, okay, just to fasten off. 
Then what I like to do is um, just weave in my ends really quickly uh, just to get them out of the way so I can put the tassels in there. So grab your yarn, thread it with a needle, and then we're just going to go in one direction with our yarn. Just like that, and then we're going to come back in the other direction with our yarn, okay? And then just give it a little snip, and you can repeat that with the other tail that you have, okay? You may have multiple if you um, use multiple balls of yarn. For the gray scarf at the beginning of the video, I used six balls of that, um, the chill yarn that I was talking about earlier. But you may have different amounts uh, or different numbers of tails, depending if you switched colors and things like that. Um, so just get that nice and straight and give that tail a snip, okay? Okay, so let's take our piece and do a tassel. To make a tassel, we have just enough yarn here. I'm going to take two pieces of yarn, each about 12 inches long. doesn't need to be any longer than that. And let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see better. And two pieces, put those aside, okay? So take the yarn, and you're going to wrap all around all four fingers. So one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do ten, okay? Then we're going to cut the yarn. If you want it to be kind of poofier, you can do twelve or more, okay? So we have this little bundle. We're going to take one of our pieces of yarn, and we're just going to send it through the middle of our bundle and we're going to tie it nice and tight at the top. Now, if you're using this like roving style yarn like I am, just be very gentle with it because it pulls apart easily. It's just the nature of it. Okay, we're just going to tie the top and then lay your little bundle down. And you can already see how fluffy that tassel is going to be. And then we're going to take our other piece and just sort of lay it underneath and just get everything all smoothed out. And then in like that top like one-fourth section if you divide your tassel um, one-fourth to one-third of the way down you're gonna tie it okay and you want to tie it nice and snug this yarn is very fluffy and whenever you make a tassel like this there's always that one really cooperative piece of yarn that hangs straight down and there's one piece that wants to stick straight up so take that one. I like to tuck this one in because I don't like the way it looks. But see how I'm giving this a twist too? When you have big fluffy yarn like this, you need to get it under control to get it through the eye of the needle. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're just going to send it through the middle of the tassel just to sort of tuck it out of the way. Okay? So just pull that through and then straighten out your tassel. It's very, very fluffy. So you, you'll probably have some unruly pieces. And then what we want to do is take and flip it over, and we're just going to cut the loops, okay? We're just going to cut those loops, all those loops off, okay? Make sure there's none left. And then take your tassel, and we're going to kind of like hold it down like this. And we're just going to try to give it this nice, clean cut straight across, okay? All right. So let me just clear this area here because we have some yarn crumbs and then if you have a long piece or two just give it a little cut at that time okay then let's tie our tassel down here at the end locate you can probably even do this with your hands the yarn is so thick this and the stitches but we're gonna just thread our tapestry needle one more time and locate that last chain at the end and make sure you go through two loops don't just go through one because it'll pull it and distort your stitches all right pull it and then just tie it and then you can do one of two things with your tassel the fun way to weave in the ends is to take your end and just go through the tassel and just pull it through now that was the length of the tassel so i don't need to trim it and then the other way you can weave it in is to weave it up in your work. Now, if you're doing different color tassels, um, you might want to take it back down into the tassel, okay? Um, but you can weave it up into your work, or you can, once again, go through that tassel. That's it. That's it. So just repeat. I did one at either end, 
-hmm. and then one in the middle to kind of like act like it sort of like um gives a nice finished look and sort of frames these arches in. Okay, so I brought the other scarf back so you could see it. We have our little sampler. It's really fun to see it in different colors if you're not sure what color to make yours in. So that is it. That is how you crochet the peaceful day scarf. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest FiberFlex video updates. Thanks again.